I'm absolutely devastated, sickened, frankly, by the verdict that was handed down in Egypt last night, our time, on a red note, on an international arrest warrant, and, um, and having to fight. Um, an... This is an injustice. This is a form of suffering that they and their families are having to go through, and this, it is absolutely wrong that innocent men should be put into this position. To continue the fight, because to give up now, frankly, would be a repudiation of everything. As you know, I'm also convicted and also sentenced to three years in prison. I'm also innocent. There is never any evidence that the court presented, that the prosecutor presented, either in the first trial or in the second, to confirm any of the allegations against us. And in fact, I'd like to publicly challenge the prosecutor to present evidence of anything that we produced that was falsified. Twitter. We're going to need to have a much closer look at, at a transcript from... So we will continue to fight this using every available means open to us. This, for me, is a matter of natural justice. President Sisi has said in the past that if we were... But this isn't just about the injustice against myself and my two colleagues. This is about what this means for due process in Egypt. It's about what it means for the rule of law in Egypt. It is also about what it means for freedom of the press and democracy in Egypt. My nationality. There are flaws, but as I said, I think that's another... That's a, that's, that's a... In the absence of any evidence of wrongdoing, the only, the only conclusion that we can come to is that this verdict was politically motivated. President Sisi now has an opportunity to undo that injustice, to correct that injustice. The eyes of the world are on Egypt. The eyes of the world have been watching this trial in particular to see Egypt's commitment to those principles. It is now up to President Sisi to do what he said he would do from the outset, and that is pardon us if we were ever convicted. To remind them of, of what this sentence means. This is a wrong. Everyone knows it is wrong. And so we will be doing, using every legal, political, diplomatic and social means at our disposal. The fact is that we did nothing wrong, that there was no evidence of wrongdoing, that these guys are innocent men and innocent men are in prison. That's what this is about. Never mind the sentences. One day in prison would be, would be unjust. We need support from governments around the world, from diplomats around the world, and indeed for everyone who has ever tweeted or supported or liked Facebook pages or turned out in demonstrations or written letters to continue the fight because to give up now, frankly, would be a repudiation of everything that they've fought for and everything that we have fought for and will continue to fight for. Thank you.